How's it hanging, Freedom Partners? Welcome back to Freedom Flash Fridays, episode 6. Today we're taking a look at a completely new software. Something that you guys will probably find interesting. If you're looking for a free video editing tool, then let me introduce you to Lightworks. It's a very simple video editor that you can use for quick productions. However, if you want anything fancy or in HD quality, you will have to pay for it. But if you're looking for something that's just quick, easy, then Lightworks may be the choice for you. So let's take a look. And here we are in Lightworks, and when you open up the program, this is what you'll see. And you'll just see that all this is empty, so what do you do here? Well, this is where your former projects will all be. We don't have any projects, so we don't have anything here, but let's make a project. To do that, you simply go to create a new project. It's just that simple. You click it, and you'll get these things. Notes, don't care about notes. You want your FPS. And usually you want 60 FPS, but you should match it to what your recording is. So if your recording is, for some reason, 24 FPS, make it 24 FPS. If my recordings are 60 FPS, it'll be 60 FPS. What her name? We'll just name it Bob. Press create, and you'll get this. This is weird. This is difficult looking. What do I do here? Well, first, all you want to do is import a file. So you're going to take your video, wherever it may be, and then you're going to drag it right over here. You'll click and let go and you'll see that it'll appear over here in just a second. And as you see, here is our video. So next, we're gonna want to go up here to these options. The next one that we want is edit. And over here in edit, you have your timeline, you have your preview window, and you have your contents. You're gonna take this and just drag it right on down here just like that and now you can freely edit and you'll see that as you move the scrubber it is not a smooth transition it will lag and you can't scrub along and watch the video this is one complaint that i have compared to something like premiere pro which is what i use this does not work as smoothly as it really should however if you're just doing simple edits, this will work just fine. And there's really only one tool that you need to know how to use in the edit tab, which is how to cut. And that's simple. Let's say that you don't want this part here and you want to jump it, jump the video all the way over to here. All you'll have to do is press the delete button. And pressing the delete button will cause this to happen. And you'll see that now you have two independent clips that you can move around. You can move this one into the middle of this one, for example. So now you have the beginning, then it'll jump as it takes 10 hours to load over to here, and it's as simple as that. Now the next tool that we're going to want to look at is, of course, your audio, which is in its own tab right up here. For audio, this is very important. For your microphone audio, you will have a separate track, and you'll want to balance them. To do this, you see that there's a little white dotted line going right across all the audio here. That is what you want. You want to take this and you'll want to move it up or down. If you move it up, the audio will get louder. If you turn it down, the audio will get quieter. And it's all dependent on balancing your microphone. So if your microphone is really quiet, then for your microphone audio, you turn it up a bit and lower your game audio, and vice versa. Now, of course, you've cut your video and you've changed your audio and balanced it with your microphone and whatever you want it to be. So how, of course, do you export your video since you want to put it on YouTube or somewhere? Well, that's a little difficult. You see, there isn't any file button up here, and if you press this, you'll just get different settings and there's nothing up here. So how do you export? You go down to your timeline, of all places, right-click, and go to the export button. And you can do either one of two things with, of course, the free version, unless you want to cough up 30-ish dollars for this. You go to get an MP4 or to a YouTube. We're doing YouTube, so we're going to click YouTube. When you get this tab that pops up, you can either upload it directly to YouTube, 
or you can save it in your files. We're just going to save it in documents and call it a good time. And then once all this looks good, you can change the quality. Of course, you have to pay for so many different versions. We're going to want 60 FPS. And then we're going to press start and you'll see that it is now exporting your video. And there you have it, a complete run through of Lightworks and the basic tools that you'll need to use in it. Even though there isn't much that you can do in it for free, but it's still there as an option. Is there anything you're curious about in Lightworks or anything that you want to learn or know if it's even possible in Lightworks? Then let me know in the comments down below and it could be made into a future video. Thank you all for watching Freedom Flash Fridays. My name is Voya, and I will see you all next week with another video. Beam me up.